Hi, I'm Kathy Troisi and I am running for APHA Executive Board this year. I'm on the faculty here at the University of Texas School of Public Health where I uh, do research as an infectious disease epidemiologist. However, I'm also in community health practice and so I do a lot of work in the community. I started my scientific career in biochemistry, but as we say in Texas, I got to public health as soon as I could. Uh, I decided I didn't want to spend the rest of my life studying one protein in the laboratory, so I entered a doctoral, doctoral program in epidemiology where the focus was on infectious diseases, and I fell in love with both of those, and that's what I've been doing since. However, where I've done that has changed through the years from running a uh, laboratory and doing laboratory-based research to coming over to the School of Public Health and doing more community-based things, practicing public health at the Houston Health Department where I was assistant director and then director of the Office of Public Health Practice, and then coming back to the School of Public Health in both epidemiology and community health practice where most of my work is now in the community. involved with APHA for a while, starting with the epidemiology section and now at the organizational level. I am chair this year of the Action Board, co-chair of the Joint Policy Committee, and because of those positions am ex officio on the executive board. I've discovered that uh, we need to do a better job of advocating both for public health and for vulnerable communities that aren't able or don't have their own voice to talk to legislators, particularly in this political climate. So the, of the three reasons why I'm running for board, the first is advocacy. The APHA Governmental Relations uh, uh, Committee does a great job at their level of advocating on Capitol Hill. But we need more action from members, and we need it at the state and local level as well, not just at the national level. And I believe that APHA can help members become more active in these roles. The second reason is because of strategic planning that I believe needs to be done at a higher level. And although the board does have a strategic plan, I would like to see more action-oriented, smart goals in that strategic plan. For example, we need to make sure that we're meeting the needs of members and that members are getting value for their membership. And then the third reason I'm running is because I have both practiced public health and have been in academia. And so I know the strengths and weaknesses of both those areas. APHA is rather unique in that it has a number of members in it from academia, some professional organizations are only academics, and a number of members from the practice area, and again, some organizations are only made up of people who practice public health. APHA therefore is a fertile ground for collaboration between these two groups to improve the community's health, and I believe that we could do a good job of fostering collaboration and synergy between these two groups to improve the public's health. I'm going to tell you a couple of things about me. Uh, one is, you may know me as the knitter. Uh, I uh, knit a lot in meetings. It may look like I'm not paying attention. I'm really paying more attention because it gets rid of that little bit of excess energy. And instead of doodling, where at the end you just have something you doodle, I have a sweater for one of my grandchildren, or uh, some a sweater I've knit for myself at the end. So not only am I paying more attention, I'm accomplishing something, I'm multitasking. The other thing is that I'm a singer. I sing with two groups here in Houston, and with one of them, it's not just singing, it's also performance. I dance. Last year, I did an Irish jig, and uh, I, there's also some acting involved, so that is great fun as well. As APH leaders, one of your important roles is to determine who will be on the executive board through your voting. And I know that you will spend a lot of time determining who you think will best fulfill that role. Uh, thank you for spending time listening to this and looking at my website. If you have any questions you'd like me to answer or you would like me to be on a, a 
section or affiliate or caucus conference call, I'd be happy to do that. Or um, if you'd like me to come to your one of your business meetings at the annual meeting, I'd be happy to do that as well.